This morning, ABC News is streaming channel ABC News Live, getting an exclusive look at a New York City migrant shelter that houses mothers and their children seeking asylum. We're at capacity for everyone. We really don't have any room at all. Christine Quinn, whose organization runs the shelter, says most of those staying here do not qualify for housing benefits or food stamps, making it difficult for them to move out and provide for their families. Families. And now, with the bitter winter cold settling in, many are unprepared. These families came to us and continue to come with the T-shirt on their back and the flip-flops on their feet. They're not ready for snow. They don't have winter jackets. New York's governor yesterday requested more than $2 billion to provide housing and health care for the roughly 70,000 migrants currently in the state, many of them sent by bus from Texas. This is the right thing to do for the migrants and for the city of New York. Continue focusing on securing work authorization and put the migrants and asylum workers to work. In Illinois, the governor has announced $17 million in new funds for Chicago suburbs that agreed to house migrants. Hundreds have been sleeping on city buses to keep warm. Many arrived wearing only shorts and T-shirts. Migrant crossings at the U.S. southern border hit a record high last month. Today, President Biden is meeting with congressional leaders, urging them to pass new border security funds, part of a $106 billion funding request that also includes money for the wars in Ukraine and Gaza. As part of that spending plan, Republicans have demanded stricter asylum laws and also expanded deportations. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.